All right, target 51, using graphs to solve one variable inequalities, showing your solution on a number line. A couple of typos in this question that we need to fix before we even start doing this is that this should be x squared plus 4x plus 3, and then this symbol here should be greater than or equal to, and that number 4 should not be there. So we'll just scribble that out as well. So the correct equation that we're actually going to solve and figure out is x squared plus 4x plus 3 is greater than or equal to x plus 7. All right, with that being said, we're going to need to graph this. So our first move is going to be to graph it like this. Now, in order to graph it, what you're going to want to do, it says using graph to solve one variable inequalities. We only have x's in our question. So again, our answer is going to be on an x number line. It's kind of like an x axis number line where we're going to show our final solution. So what we do is we type in the equations in our y equals on our calculator. So it looks something like this. And then we push graph. When we push graph, we're going to see the shape, and this is what it looks like. So we have a parabola and a line. So then what we do is we go to our paper, and we sketch out our parabola and our line. So this is an x plus 7 line, so it's going to hit at 7. It's going to look something like this, and that parabola looked like this um, on my computer or my calculator screen. It looks something like that. And obviously we can see that they cross at two places. These crossing at these two places are going to be our key points. Those are our locator points. Those are our boundary points. Those are really important points right there, those points of intersection. So what I do is I use my calculator. I go second calc, intersect, enter, 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 and it shows me that those then intersect at negative 4 comma 3. So one point is negative 4, 3, that's this one over here, that point right there, and then this intersection point, I can also find that on my calculator if I trace and go over a little bit. So I get this thing going to kind of close to where I want to be, that looks pretty good, second calc intersect, and I get 1 comma 8. So 1 comma 8 is the other point of intersection, 1 comma 8, Therefore, my boundary points are negative 4 and 1. Now, you notice I didn't put dots on the number line yet or circle them because I have to go back and look at my symbol. My symbol is greater than, greater than. So greater than symbol, so that's greater than or equal to. That's going to be a solid dot. Solid dot is that greater than or equal to, so I'm going to put a solid dot there. So if I go back over here and think about my symbols, that's still, these are still true with the less thans being and greater thans being open, but the less than or equal to and the greater than or equal to being closed. So I go back over here and I close those up. Then I need to test a point. The easiest testing point is zero. Zero would live somewhere like right here on my number line. So I test zero, plug it in. Zero squared is zero, four times zero is zero, 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 zero. So is three greater than, put zero here, seven. Is three greater than or equal to seven? Of course not. So that is not true, therefore I'm not going to shade in there. Plus this is great or, so I'm going to be shading out here on these sides of the number line. So my final answer would be x is less than or equal to negative 4 or x is greater than or equal to 1 if I was expected to write that in domain notation as well. Now you can also see this on the graph because it's asking you when is the parabola greater than the line. Well, if I look at this picture, when is my red, because my red is my parabola, when is my red graph above my green graph? Well, you can see that location just by kind of checking out what the picture looks like. These parts right here are greater or above the line at those spots, and it's split apart. So that's where this comes down, and it's going to be all of that stuff, because anytime I go this way, it stays above. And then from here, this kind of goes around. Any time above that, it's going to be over here. So you can see it in the picture as well on which side to shade if you think about the meaning of the actual question. The question was, when is the x squared parabola greater than the line? Well, when it's above it. And that's the values on the number line over there. You can also find it by testing zero.